Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be talking about which cloud certifications are the best for you to learn to improve your career prospects in the cloud. So I want to preface all this by saying that I can't really tell you exactly which certification is the best because there's a lot of things that go into that. It's important to understand that just because you have a certification doesn't mean you have a better job doesn't mean you will get a better salary. Uh, it's important to understand that also things change. So by the time I'm done recording this video, maybe a cloud provider decides to change their certification process and have different certifications. So it's important to understand that whatever I'm going to give you right now in this video is gonna be very generalized, but I will try to make it as specific as possible so you get the best out of it. So one thing I wanna point out about certifications is that the fact that you have one doesn't mean you will get a better salary because employers don't really give out better salaries for certifications. The only time this type of things would happen is if having a certification enabled you to do something more than what you are currently able to do. In the cloud, that is not the case. You can create your own subscription and have full admin access. You can do anything you want in the cloud. So whether you are certified as an expert or not doesn't mean you can or cannot do the job. So employers may or may not give you a raise from a cloud certification, but having a cloud certification can allow you to get a better job outside your current job. It can allow you to get a higher salary outside of your current job. So that's where the certifications come from, where you can prove to a new employer that you are an expert. You have certification in a certain field in the cloud. So I would classify the certifications into five types. So the first type is the fundamentals type of certification, which is you know the basics about this cloud environment. It's the type of certification that goes over everything in a cloud provider. So it tells an employer that you're certified that you, you know about this type of cloud. You have some basic proficiency in this cloud. You can do some basic things. It's a good certification to have because this certification is quite easy to get to. It's one of the easiest type of certifications to get. It's the most affordable one where if you do get a raise from your certification, this one is the easiest one to get you a raise. The second category of certifications is the administrator certification. So I think AWS calls it the SysOp administrator. Uh, Google Cloud Platform says something different. There's they're really broken down into network and things like that. And Azure has the administrator certification, associates uh, administrator certification. So that's the certification for operations. That's a good certification to have if you plan on being in the ops side of things. So you are the one who deploys resources in the cloud. You are the one who creates the infrastructure in the cloud. So that's the, the certification that would be great to show that you are good in this field. It would really help you to have a operational administrator type of certification. The third type of certification is the developer certification. All the cloud provider have a developer certification, which is basically you can create and deploy software in the cloud in this provider. That's where the developer certification comes in is it proves to your employer that you can get developer job type of things going in the cloud. So if you are looking to be a developer, if you are looking to do more of a bridge between um, IT and development or just pure development, having a developer certification helps. It helps a lot for obvious reasons. The fourth kind is the DevOps kind of certification. So the DevOps person is the person who's really the, the bridge between the administrators and the developers. That's the person who makes sure that codes can go and run flawlessly on a cloud provider. They make sure that when developers push their codes to the repository, so GitHub or Azure DevOps or Bitbucket or what have you, that this code can then flow to the cloud 
into an appliance, into an app service, into an EC2 instance, or whatever you want to call it, and runs. They make sure that it is configured properly so that the code will accept the right connections. They will be able to run properly. That's a big job. Uh, I think the salary for a DevOps engineer is in the $120,000 a year, which is quite a nice thing to have. So having that DevOps certification in a cloud provider will really help you get your foot in the door to a DevOps role. Of course, it's no substitute for actual experience in a DevOps role, but it will really help you stand out in a job search for a DevOps position. The fifth certification type that I can think of is the architect. So an architect is it's somebody who architects a solution for a customer, whether internal or external. It's a certification that shows that somebody has a full picture of what is available to them in the cloud and is able to make recommendations and design systems and solutions in the cloud that are appropriate to solve the problem. And so the difference between an architect and everybody else is that the architect really knows everything about the cloud. They know all the services. They know how things talk to each other. This is usually the hardest certification to get because it requires so much knowledge, so much practice, so much experience to be good at being a cloud architect. And that's one of the reasons those cloud architect jobs actually also have very high salaries. And again, in the $120,000, $130,000 role, I've seen um, uh, up to $170,000 for AWS architect, I think. So there's a lot of money into these people because they allow the business to develop solutions that fit their needs. They allow the business to fit to, to develop solutions that are cheaper because they are the correct one to use. So it's a very, very expert type of certification. They usually are much harder to get, but if that's the type of role you wanna go into, that's the type of certification you would want. But in order to get a certification like that, learning is not enough. You probably would have to have a lot of on-the-job, hands-on experience. So if you want to study for those certifications, make sure you go in there and you play with the cloud and you implement some solutions so that you are ready for those. And I'm going to give you a sixth one a sixth certification that you should probably look into that might be a very important one to have. And the last, that's the security type of certification. So everybody loves security. Why? Because it reduces the risk of lawsuits. <laughs> that's why we love security. So lawsuits and thief and attacks, those security engineers, those cloud, secure, those cloud security engineers, I paid the big bucks to make sure that everything in the cloud for a company is secure, is good to go, and is not vulnerable to attacks, is um, compliant with certain norms such as PCI or HIPAA or GDPR, or whatever. So those are very important people. And in enterprise, security people usually are also paid the big bucks. Not just the cloud, but security in general is extremely important to so many people. They are the gatekeepers of the company. They make sure that no information that should not leave the company does not leave the company. So that's, that's my bonus one that you can look into for the cloud and in general is uh, security. One thing I'm curious about is you watching this video. How did your certification help you in your career if you have one already? And if not, how do you think it will help you in your career by getting a certification? And let me know which certifications you have, which certifications you plan on having or taking. And um, if you want me to make content about any of those 
certifications. I am personally looking for a few certifications this year, mostly Azure and Microsoft centered, but I would not be opposed to making videos about other cloud providers.